Welcome back guys. So in this video, we're going to start moving uh, forward to this section. And if we have time, we'll start moving over to the right. So without further ado, let's first uh, go about slicing this to get this orange strip here. So we want to divide this body into three separate parts. So the, the best way to go about doing that is instead of going to create sketch and using the line tool and just following this reference, we know that references can lie, but what, what won't lie is the surface of the back and front. So what I'll do is select this surface here, create a sketch. I'll use, uh, I can use the offset tool, select the perimeter or border. And what I'll do is right click, hit OK. Now I'll just press pull this. And I'll press pull this to line up with the front piece. And I'll change the direction from one side to two sides. And that gives me that additional arrow to slide. And I'll just line this up with the back end. And what I now can do is change the operation from cut to new body. Hit OK. And now I'll slice this body by the back and front face. So I'll go to modify, split body, select this body. And for the splitting tool, we'll select that and we'll choose this face and this face, which gives us two slices and we can hit okay. Now what I like to do is remove this body because we no longer need this. So I'll, if the body is dropped down, it's dropped down already. We just want to delete this body 87. So we'll right click on it and go to remove. But what remains is this section here. So what we'll do now is create a pipe so we can get that detail, then we'll combine it together again. So we can go to create pipe, select this um, borderline, and we'll rotate around so we can select this arrow so we can downsize this to something a little less visible. So around 0.048 should be fine. And we can control C to copy these attributes and we can change it. Um, I mean, then we can hit okay. Then we're gonna right click, go up to repeat pipe, or you can just go back to create pipe. And we wanna select this. And then what we'll do is press control V to paste those um, attributes that we copied from this pipe. Ensure the operation is on cut, hit OK. Now I want to start combining these back together. So I'll go to modify, combine, select this body, this body, and this body, and change it from cut to join, hit OK. Now we have that detail, but it's just one body now. And that's exactly what we want. Now, what I want to do is start working on this detail, like we did here. So what I'll do is go to create sketch, select the 2D plane or background, and then I'll just um, toggle off this body, which is body 88. Follow the reference. So I'll use a two point rectangle. It doesn't matter how far you extend beyond this next body because we're not going to affect it. So let's double click to select the entire profile and we'll go to move. And we'll just move this. So let's do like negative 1.5. Let's see how that looks. That looks perfect. Then we'll right click, hit OK. I think we can slide this back a little bit. Right about here. We'll just extend this. We'll select the profile, right click, press pull, and then we'll drag this back out this way and also toggle back on that body we toggled off, change the direction from one side to two sides, grab that second arrow, and we'll just dial this into the body. And this looks good. We don't want to dive too deep into the back end, right? Just slightly. And we will dial back this arrow on this side. Change it from cut to new body. Hit OK. And now we have to draft this, remember, because only this back end's touching. So we're going to go to modify, 
draft, select the back face, and for the second face will be the one underneath. Now from a top view or angle, right, we can just dial back this widget to go a little deeper. And once we're satisfied, we can then uh, hit OK. Now we're just going to pattern this around. Create pattern, circular pattern. Ensure the type is set to body. Select our body. For the axes, we'll choose this ring. For the quantity, we'll choose something like, let's see how seven is. Seven, let's try eight. So it'll be seven or eight. I think uh, I think eight should be fine for now. So we'll just hit OK once we're satisfied. Now let's just combine these together. So modify, combine, select our main body, and body 90 will be next. And then shift, select the last one. Change the operation from join to cut. Hit OK, and we have the shape we're looking for. That was nice and simple. And one thing I'll do before I do uh, move forward is I noticed the reference has a nice little fillet at the back end, and I'd rather get it now before we get too far. So after the draft, I'll slide the slider back right here. What I'll do is hit F on the keyboard to enter fillet mode, and select these two back edges. Dial them in a little bit, hit OK. And then we can actually do a fillet now. So I'll hit F once again and select this bottom line. And we'll just round these off, hit OK. And we'll just slide the time slider forward. Now we have this shape. It looks a lot better. And I think this is a good place to end this video.